Hindi ko siya sinasadya ah, kasi uso siya ngayon. This is the only brush that I have. So I'm assuming mga 3 hours po ako magpipintura, ano? I hope you guys come along and join this mini series as I change my room into something that I really want for the longest time. And I'm this time back at it again with another video. For today's video, guys, as you can see on the title, tayo ay maguro make over. <sighs> Sobrang tagal ko nang kino conceptualize yung sarili ko in regards to the room that I want. Napakahirap pa lang mag-isip ng gusto mong kwarto pagka napakadami mong gusto sa buhay. For the past two years, I have been evolving. I've been trying to know myself. Hindi lang siya halata sa mga naging bisita ko na dito sa bahay. So in this video, um, ipapakita ko sa inyo slowly but surely what is the process of this room, kung anong itsura niya umpisa pa lang, and kung anong itsura niya three weeks from today. So, kung bago ka pa sa akin channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. I am trying to aim a 5,000 subscribers for this year and nasa kalahati pa lang ako. So, I hope that you subscribe to my channel. Sobrang magiging happy talaga ako. Like, so, kung nakapag-subscribe ka na, balik na tayo sa 20. So, 2018 was the year na I had this Japanese-styled bed. I believe that I used two types of Japanese bed. The other one was a memory foam bed. Not parang bed topper lang siya. And then, ginamit ko siya as a bed. And then after that, Dora Tex ba yan na bed na parang yung fina-fold mo lang siya or gagamitin mo lang siya pag may bisita. So I use that kind of bed because that was also the year na hindi ko talaga alam kung ano yung gusto ko para sa kwarto ko. If I want a white bed, if I want a wood one or a steel type bed, wala akong idea. So that year 2018 guys, bumili po ako ng bed. December 2018 ko pa to binili kasi parang January dumating yung pinaka mattress na to. And after a few months, nagpalit din ako ng ilaw. Ito usual ko naman na to na ginagawa pero yeah, para lang makita niya na halos lahat talaga na palitan ko sa kwarto na to and big achievement. After a few months, binuksan na din yung mirror ko na antagal din siyang nakasara because I really wanna show it to you guys of me unboxing the mirror. It is a full length mirror pero ewan ko bakit pagkakatabi ko yung mirror parang hindi siya full length. Parang mga 3 fourths lang siya sa akin. But it is a good mirror for its price. I think this was around 800-700. That year, I also fixed my books and napakadami ko talaga ng libro and nilagay ko sila sa shelf ko for I think a year then realizing that it is not the perfect place kasi like ang dami kong books and then until lang yung nalalagay kong books favorite books ko lang and gusto ko talaga na sama-sama sila and that year is also the year that I did my clean with me video 2018 yung first part kay Merut uh, makikita nyo na kung ano talaga yung itsura ng room ko that time na wala pa akong kama as in nasa sahig pa even my vanity was like the IKEA na you use for your foyer and then another year has passed in 2019 going which is like the most recent one and I suggest na panoorin nyo siya before you actually watch into this video because that video mas nilinis ko yung closet ko you'll be able to see stuff from this room being put in my closet so parang mas maging less cluttered na siya and nagkaroon ng lugar mga gamit ko dito sa kwarto ko and I also assembled a rock na sadly I will not put in this room. Ganon siya kahaba and ganon siya kalaki. Super love it. I think I got it for only 500 to 700 pesos. Para mga ganon ang presyuhan niya. I try to link down all of the items na minention ko guys so you can buy it. Pero hindi ko siya nalagay sa kwarto ko because hindi siya bagay. Wala siyang lugar sa kwarto kong ito. Ang dal 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 ko, pero hindi ko exactly nasabi sa inyo kung ano ba talagang pwede ko sa kwarto na to. So, ang pwede ko talaga sa kwarto na to, I search from Pinterest 
and um, nilag nilapag ko muna yung furniture na gagamitin ko for this room makeover. And then I proceeded to the design that I want. I really want a terracotta one. Hindi ko siya sinasadya ah, kasi uso siya ngayon. Pero hindi ko talaga sinasadya na yun talaga yung punta ng room ko. Like most of the things or the furniture that I have in here are dark shade, dark color, ganon. So parang, so parang Perk color, yun talaga yung complementary color niya, mga terracotta, plants, ganon. So, I opted to go for that design. And nakakita ko sa Pinterest na parang accent wall na circular-ish. And I I knew I needed that because of the furnitures that I have. Most of them rectangular shape sila. Most of them height, ganon. Paiba-iba lang ng height. Pero walang circle, walang curve. Parang it is so blunt, ganon. So, and yes, this is what my room looked like three weeks ago. It is not clean, clean, but it is more clean. So one of the cleanest face talaga yung three weeks ago ko. Sobrang makikita mo talaga na more on whites and woods yung room ko. This table talaga from IKEA used to be a 200 centimeter ones. So simula dito hanggang dun talaga siya dati. Pero yun nga, um, wala akong malagyan ng table. So, I had to downsize my table into this. I think this is 150 cm. Yeah. I'll be doing another video for this one. Which is an office makeover. Na lilipat ko lang naman sila dito. It's gonna be a more in-depth video. We're gonna clean this and then we're gonna move this. Tapos pala itong cortina ko. As you can see, wala akong cortina. I just used some of my thesis boards. Kasi guys, nasira siya. And gusto ko talaga siya pinitan. It's just that it curtain that I have is super expensive. So, magiging honest na ako. Ayoko talaga siya pinitan dahil ayoko ng kumasto. So, in-improvise ko siya ng very, very light. So, what I did here, guys, so, humanap ako sa Shopee ng metal thingy na pwedeng magkapit sa rod ko and as well as the ceiling. So, ganito yung itsura niya, parang L-shaped type na dalawa yung screws. So, dahil sampu yung binili ko na L-shaped screw, whatever that is, I divided it into 10. And then, from there, nakahanap ako ng aking measurement, which is 39.3 cm. And from there, starting from 0, inad-add ko lang siya ng 39 hanggang sa umabot ako sa dulo ng rod ko. I was using this the whole time, kaya, kaya nakat ko yung sarili ko. And yeah, katulad nga na sinabi ko kanina, being versatile, yung table ko na puti, ginawa ko siyang wood color para mag-complement siya sa room ko at para maging cohesive sila. Itong shelf na to, ay, shelf? So, since okay na itong table na to, ito namang dresser. Let's go. So, tapos na tayo dito, guys. And it's time for me to move the furniture. Special thanks to Dyson. Baka naman, Dyson. Balik sa April. So, I'm in my shirt, white shirt right now kasi ako ay magpiginta. And good thing, nagkaroon ng medyo slight renovation sa aking CR, so meron dong extra na paint. We're gonna use that paint today to paint this door. Not exactly the door, but just the trim of it. But here's the problem. This is the only brush that I have. So I'm assuming mga 3 hours po ako magpipintura. Ano? Opo? Alam ko meron lang kong binili. Yes! The first thing that you want to do is to actually clean yung parts na ipipaint mo because may dust siya. So, pag nagpaint ka tapos may dust pa siya, 
probably it will not stick on the surface. I'll be using this one, the Boysen Animal Premium Quality. No? It's very important to read, guys, the instructions, the coverage, and drying time. Yes. I'm also gonna be putting everything in here because wala kung lalagyan. That's for sure one thing for me to invest is yung lalagyan na ng paint. So before anything, ooh, but parang pagilit ako still. Before anything else, lalagyan po muna to ng plastic. But in my case, I'm gonna be using a craft paper. Look at the color difference. Ito yung greenish. Ito yung white. Ah! Mga natuklap. Kailangan talaga ito po coat ko to kasi yan. Kita pa rin sila guys. So grabe yung pawis ko po. Wow! Wait lang. Hindi pa po natatapos ang paglilinis ko. Alam ko sa sarili ko na kailangan ko pa rin linisin yung PC ko. So I think after a year na linisan ko na naman siya ng, as in thoroughly and I'm so so happy and yung keyboard ko narinisan ko na din siya after 5 years kasi hindi ako marunong maglinis ng keyboard and then sinerge ko lang siya on the spot and then nilinisan ko na siya yeah so clean it is now 1.13 so 1.13 am na katatapos ko lang linisin yung CPU parts ko like all of them I cleaned it. I'm just gonna proceed with the books. Actually, itong crate na to, medyo matagal ko na silang nabili. I bought them from the Beaton Arcade at I think around 350 isa to. Dito ko balak ilagay yung mga libro ko. Yung mga books na mga meron ako kadalasan is parang mga this size lang. So, kasyang-kasya sila dun sa crates ko. So, ayun na muna yung gagawin ko tonight, I think. And then, I will proceed tomorrow na. Okay guys, so another day and for this segment, nag-invest ako ng onting pera for this wall art because guys, if you don't know Papa Melroti, medyo may kamahalan sila sa mga deco posters nila like this, even the small ones, so, mga ganito mga 200 na to, mahal. This part right here, meron siyang ganito dati, it's too colorful for this room, so kailangan na natin sila alisin. Ginamit ko pa lang, ano dyan guys, pandikit. Kaya pansin nyo, para sa walang nails, wala rin siya mga hooks and whatnot. Ang ginamit ko dyan yung no nails. Never silang nahulog guys. Ah, oh, diba? Sis, nasisira. Mm. I was scraping. Pero, ginamitan ko kasi ng ganito. Texture is like itong wall. Pero you can still feel na may something. Kaya siya pipinturahan ng puti. And then yan, kinalan ko na rin ng white. Yung wall where inilalagay ko yung mga bags ko. Ihahang ko yung mga favorite bags ko na nagko-complement pa rin ng color. We are done on this part. And nilagay ko na din yung crate. Ayan, nagpusit na ako sa paglagay ng crate sa bedside ko. Parang basically yun yung magiging bedside ko. And nilinis ko lang yung floor ko. Ginamitan ko to ng doTERRA na essential oil. Super love the doTERRA essential oils. Diffuser pa yan. Makalagay sa katawan or iinumin or sa floor panlinis. Super love the scent of it. Sobrang tipid and sobrang ganda ng quality. I had to move the bed na into a queen size because I needed, I needed to do that para alam ko kung hanggang saan po pwesto yung dresser ko para ma-start ko na yung art ko. So essentially guys, ang ginawa ko dito is naglagay ako ng measurement pataas para medyo square siya. So, 80 yung pag ganun. Tapos, 70 yung pataas. Mainit! Let's measure when you're alone. So, we're gonna be needing a string. 
Ito yung tape. Dahil hanap na natin yung midpoint. Ayan na siya. May circle na tayo. Galing yan sa measurements ko. Ito yung una ko measurement 70. So, hindi ko siya nasunod. I just use this. Yung midpoint. And then, straight na natin yung pagbaba. Hirap niya buksan. Uh! Uy, muntikan na ako. Swear. Feel ko na. Feel ko na dito. Ayan, parang makeup na, parang foundation. It's another day and the last day of my room makeover. Established ko na talaga sa sarili ko na gusto ko matapos ko yung makeover today because I'll be doing a room tour tomorrow. I have a lot of things. Oh, manual. I was supposed to wake up at 8 o'clock today and I actually did wake up pero around 8.30 natulog ulit ako. Girl, 11.30 na po ako nagising. Nagkape na ako. Paint niya. Hindi talaga siya pantayed. So, they're supposed to be second layers talaga. Pinacheck ko sa sister ko. Sabi niya, hindi daw pantay yung lines ko. Only solution that I had to get like some heavy stuff and a string. And then you place it here sa point wherein you want to start your straight line. Mawa din ako ng origami guys. I tried to make the plain green. But unfortunately, it did not go as planned. Madaling siya mahulog and mukha siyang cluttered. It's so cozy but it didn't work. So, I had to say goodbye. Bye-bye. Alisin na lang muna natin yung tape. Guys, ito talaga yung pag ko. Pero guys, papalitan ko to eh. Papalitan ko tong wood na to. Did I just pull it off? My God! What is this corner in here? Okay guys, so tapos na. It matches my bed. I think it's time for me to finally make the bed. And we'll just do some final touches. So before I show you guys what my room looks like now, do you remember what it looked like three weeks ago? That is it guys. So, ito na yung pinaka itsura ng aking kwarto. I'm super happy that I was able to do this alone. Everything. Well, tagal-tagal ko man na-realize kung anong gusto ko for my room but it is worth it. So, yeah. That is it. So, ayun lang. Sana makapag-subscribe kayo sa channel ko guys and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!